thing that pulled this whole presentation together today started off with a young lady named Michaela Kui. Uh, she was diagnosed with Graves and she just really kind of got this bug that she wanted to do something to raise awareness and to give back. And she said, you know, I think I'll do a 3,000 mile bike ride from Anchorage, Alaska down to San Francisco. The Graves Foundation is very much about education, about connection, We've got people who are ready to answer your question. In contrast, the Let's Face It Together is very community based. It's taking money from our communities and helping people within our communities that don't have insurance to achieve what they need. We were founded by a Graves patient named Nancy Patterson, um, and she was actually a, a nurse, and when she got diagnosed, she was frustrated with you know how few resources there were and how few opportunities to connect with other patients. I knew I had it way before that time, but I didn't do anything about it. I kind of ignored it. I was pretty fit. I worked out. Life was great and uh, just started noticing little things, getting a little hyper, probably a little irritable. Started getting comments from family and friends that I was starting to behave a little differently. The whole time I'm thinking, I'm fine. Thyroid hormones critical to running. This is the physiology of our body, maintaining our mood, muscle, bone density, just everything. Orbit means the, the box behind the eyeball. So anyone who has Graves knows, knows about their box. When the box gets too full, it starts to hurt. So the most important part of vitamin D is that it regulates our calcium phosphate, and that's important in providing health to the bone. A 50% reduction at 40, there's no other drugs in, that we know that can actually reduce colon cancer by 50%. So thyroid eye disease is a, a very, very difficult journey. Your own immune system creates an antibody that essentially fits perfectly into a receptor on the cells of your thyroid and causes it to produce thyroid hormone. Those same antibodies couple with other proteins in your orbit, the muscles of your eyes and the fat, creating this hard fat earlier in these large hypertrophied muscles that cause difficulty with vision and double vision. It, it just changes you. Um, Pre-disease, you have one look, you have one feel, you, you're, you're, you're you, and maybe six months, a year later, you look in the mirror and you don't even recognize the person. And your spouse will swear you've been taken over by aliens. Um, God, just looking at these pictures, it's, just, <laughs> it's hard for me. It's not even the worst of it. Those are the pictures I allow everybody to see, but it did get much worse than that. Most of you go to six, eight, ten, twelve doctors over the course of several months to years before you get to where you need to be with the right providers. And that's where the Graves Foundation can be really helpful is if you're just if you haven't gotten there, they can help connect you with physicians. So if you're if you're having problems but the doctors don't see the problems, you may be given the impression they don't believe you and that you must be making up your symptoms. It's definitely common. It's, it's more women than men. It's unfortunately in our most productive years. Uh, it's one of the leading causes of disability from a visual dysfunction standpoint. The prednisone made me edgy and made me, and I called it mean bop. <laughs> general shedding and this is the type that you see primarily in thyroid disease you notice a lot of hair in you know your drain or in your brush then there's this treatment that you put these little vials on your hair for a couple of weeks and we've seen great results in my salon for people even with chemo who their hair is coming back thicker and fuller and quicker you know, I can't stress enough that you know all of this even though cosmetically you do improve you need to think of these things as functionally essential procedures first we're selling really late. We uh, calculated 4,100 miles leaving May 26 to get here at 6, but we just missed it. <laughs>